Hello and welcome. We are on a Thursday evening. It is the 3rd of October. It feels like it's the, the, I don't know, this year has just gone. I know I'm dating myself when I say that, but yeah, it just sounds like the whole year has just disappeared. It feels like it was April, like a couple of weeks ago. I don't know where the time has gone, but here we are. We are finding ourselves in uh, the early parts of October. So let's have a check through FC25 today and see what has been added in since this time yesterday when we had a rather disappointing amount of stuff. But team of the week three. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look through. We'll start with objectives, go through the evos, go through the game modes, all that kind of thing. So we've got something here. We've got daily objectives, uh, play game, score goals. We've got weekly objectives. Uh, play, score, win. Win one matches with three League of Fem players again. Play three rush matches. That's not a surprise. And then buy weekly objectives. Play up to 30. And it's all in squad battles. All rivals or champs, not rush. So that's what? 4,000 XP? 5,000. 5,000 XP. So that is a whole barrel of XP just waiting to be um, used up. And it's semi-pro difficulty as well. So, yep, there we go. Oh, my word. Season 1 Champions Cosmetic Excellence to unlock red shell items. Play for... Yeah, that ain't happening. I ain't going anywhere near that. That's not worth a bother. And then I got away. Okay. Right, we really do need to start doing this Evo thing. I will do that at some point. I promise, somewhere. Then all the normal stuff there. That's fine. Okay, cool. So nothing actually new yet, bar the just a general, uh, the general weekly, bi-weekly objective things. And, to be honest, the Season 1 Champions Cosmetic Excellence, if a Cosmetic Excellence counts as content for you. For some people it won't, for some people it will. For me, I'm not interested in not going anywhere near it. So let's have a look. See, have we got an Evo? We have not got an Evo, which is not a surprise. Okay, that's fine. It's not a problem there. Not a problem at all. Let's go to store mode. See what we've got through here. Assuming we won't have any special packs that I'm going to actually look at. Nope, it's just the normal bumped up, too expensive stuff there. And then two hours on classic packs. Right, SPCs it is then. Let's have a quick peek at that and see if we have anything. Um, we've got Diego Schotter. So Haaland has disappeared now. His SPC is gone, seemingly. Oh no, it's over here. They moved on to the second page. So we've got Dago Jota, we've got Alan Sabaxman, we've got Giovanni Los Celso, we've got Ben Godfrey, Road to the Knockouts. He's at Atalanta, and he's a centre back and a left back, is he? Left back and right back, that's pretty good. He's got quite a weird pace split, 91 74, and quite low stamina, but. He is a defender. And if you play him at centre-back, then that stamina is not a massive issue. The card itself is decent without being special. I mean, it's not going to rip up any trees. But obviously, there's the chance that he can get um, upgrades to the 85. So, get 86, 87, etc. Um, and with that sprint speed approaching 99, or whatever you want to call it, then he becomes... More useful as it gets closer. So those are the potentials he can get. Five defensive playstyles is pretty good. I mean, apart from Anticipate, he's got the Intercept, the Block, the Jockey, the Slide Tackle and the Bruiser. It's a good selection as well. He's a good fullback, both sides and a normal centre-back. So it's a solid card. It's going to be an 86, I reckon. 85 with a Serie A. That's not too bad. There will be worse SPCs than that, I'm sure. That's not too bad at all. Uh, what else do we have? Haaland, Haaland, then Turam, then Dan Juma. The loan, a base icon from the other day. 
77 double, that's there for 23 more hours. And then the repeatable ones, the 82 times 3. We will do that now because when it came up before, there was some good results from people's packs with them. We didn't get anything too great, but we're definitely going to do one now because there's a chance, obviously, the chance that we can get something good out of this. So it's an 83s and then 82s. So let's put Pickford... Let's work out who we want. And then we need 282. So we'll put Marnham in. I will put Suarez in. Then the rest have to be 83s. So we will use Coop Miners. We will use Orban. We will use Zapata. We will use Andrich. And we will use the guy who's just next to Marlon. It is Kovacic. So there we go. So two eighty twos, which is Suarez and Marnin, and the rest eighty threes gives you an eighty three rated squad. So let's exchange this in and get thoroughly disappointed by the players we get out, as that will most likely be. They've changed the fonts as well. I know we kind of get used to the fonts that we that, that they have, but you do get used to the fonts, and it's a bit weird when they change it. Kind of sits a little off off centre, off, off kilter with you. And then marquee matchups. A small rare gold players pack overall is not a great reward at all for doing all of them. Small prime electrum, premium electrum, small prime gold players pack, prime mix players pack. Like I said in the video last week, marquee matchups used to be something to get excited about to give you good results, and they have slowly over time just just reduced it, just nerfed it, and it's just a bit. Of an anti-climax compared to what it was. But it is there today. So, road to the knockout. At Godfrey, formerly of Everton, now of Atalanta. Marquee matchups, weekly objectives, bi-weekly objectives. And then the Champions Cosmetic Excellence. That is what we have for today. So, let's give it an 82 plus times 3. And let's see what we get. Obviously, we'd like a special card. Obviously, that's that goes without saying. But the chances of us getting a special card are fast approaching zero so let's open up see what we get keep our fingers crossed for something nice no special card no walkout we've just got it's an english lady from the premier league uh, from the B, uh, wsl could be lucy bronze it could be it is Lu oh no it's billy bright there we go that's pretty good she's if you're looking for an english league a lady center back she's a pretty good bet she's a Strong card. And Zapata that we just put in. Molina who we quite possibly have put in. There you go. Bruiser plus. Anticipate intercept. Ping pass both aerial. I Means she's strong defensively. She's strong physically. Lacks agility, balance, acceleration, sprint speed. But defensively you can't ask for much more from a lady centre back. And then Molina joins the uh, storage. So that's what we got today. That is there. The Godfrey card does look good. As for At At Atalanta's progress, I can't speak entirely to that, but they had a good run last year, so for sure it's a card worth doing. Potentially for that plus two and the increase in actual play styles and um, play roles, I guess we're calling them. But yeah, other than that, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate that for clicking, subscribing, commenting, all that jazz. I appreciate that. It makes it nice to get that feedback um and yeah i will speak to you this time tomorrow good luck with your picks with your packs and with your play and yeah we'll see what happens in the content tomorrow thank you for watching and goodbye for now goodbye